Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. These are for, for, for all the retrograde energies that are happening right now. So I thought I would jump on and do some readings for you guys, just to give you a little bit of a heads up. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer, and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right. Well, you have spoken. You have three cards that popped out. <laughs> Look what came in. Okay. Um, oh, this is perfect, Cancer. Okay. You have the very first card that popped out, the Judgment card. Awakening, rebirth. Um, and it is regarding a specific person. Okay. I'm going to dive into this, of course. Actually, I'm going to lay it out this way because look what you have coming in here. You have the Queen of Cups and the Sun or the Knight of Pentacles. So I am going to kind of stick with the, the Queen of Cups as you, of course. Don't get caught up by the gender. But I feel as though there's a very slow moving energy for you right now. Definitely. It's like, and that's the Saturn retrograde. Okay, that's why I was talking about these readings, because you could be in some type of a situation where you feel like things are moving so slow. Maybe with your environment, maybe with a particular person. I do see that it could be with a particular person just because you've got two court cards there. So for some of you, this could be a rebirth. I would not be surprised because you've got the judgment card. So it could mean that someone is coming back in to reach out to you. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised because Venus also just went retrograde. So some of you guys could be... Um, potentially hearing from another person uh we shall see what that is about it definitely feels significant so let's see what what other details want to come out here okay what i want to say cancer is just continue to trust your intuition because the way i see this there you are right there very connected very intuitive you almost know like this is almost you i feel as though some of you are getting a sense that this person is going to come back in some of you guys could be receiving some type of signs or synchronicities that the person is about to come in so pay attention to those because they could be a bit of a heads up so let's see what comes out here to kind of support this wow i'm tempted yeah that's it Oh my gosh, and look at that. So, Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. I'm going to stick with, on your side, you're like possibly independent or free. Or maybe this is someone that you're really connected to because I see that with the Two of Cups. Look at the, the mirroring, the offering here. Definite 100% partnership, okay? Yeah. So here's the dealio. I feel as though there's a connection or someone that is possibly going through an awakening here because of all the retrogrades here. Yes, someone could be waking up to, hey, it's possible, a new ambition or a purpose. Definitely someone, whoever this is, I'm going to dive way into the details of this because to be honest, I have no idea. I can see as far as what's going on here right now, Cancer, is that right now you're in your independence, possibly freedom, or things are maybe going really well for you, maybe in work, especially if you guys are entrepreneurs. That totally is going to be reflective of your success right now and maybe for some of you that is the recommendation is that you're possibly getting a wake-up call to what you could be doing independently to create more freedom in your life and more of that beautiful flowing energy that she has wow king of cups okay 
what in the world cancer so you, now you've got the queen and the king of cups so i can see that there's a connection here that you're dealing with that both of you could be freaking highly intuitive highly sensitive maybe this is even another water sign a pisces a can another cancer or a scorpio or have a lot of water in their chart what in the world let's see what else comes out here okay okay well, that could not be more clear cut. So here's what I think happened. Wow. All right, Cancer. I don't know how I feel about this. Whoever this person is, I don't know if this is between you two. There is a painful ending that's taken place. This is dark night of the soul, straight up. So wh whatever person you've been dealing with, I feel as though they're going through some type of a wake up call right now and or things are just not going well for them. And I feel like, yeah, that's a part of this uh, Knight of Pentacles back there is there's something's moving very slow in their environment because they're almost going through this slow wake up call. Okay. And Nine of Wands, I feel like what's having to happen, they could be feeling a little bit like their walls are up, defenses are up. And maybe this is because of you two, like whatever you've gone to. Here's the beautiful thing about this, because this girl is very meditative. She's waking up to the purpose. And that's why I love that these are all kind of down the center with the judgment and the nine of wands. There's something here about uh, giving up. You know, the burdens are becoming too heavy with whatever, per whatever this person is going through. And so it's forcing them to go to the things that they know they need to do. Do you know what I mean? The things that maybe even for a long time, this person had said like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. And they never could keep their promises. That's one thing that I'm hearing. There's, they're almost being forced into a situation that's going to help their awakening. Okay. Now, this is really interesting because look what also popped out the queen of cups again so i can absolutely see that there this person there's a lot of deep emotions between the two of you okay but i am wondering if there has even been a very painful ending take place between the two of you with that ten of swords so that's why i'm a little bit like i don't know you know, I can see the strength of the connection here and the cards that are popping out. You've got the lover's card. There's Gemini. And um, so I can see all of that right here. Again, it's not really telling me I, pretty much what I want to say, Cancer, is it's up to you, you know, especially if this person is going through a very deep awakening. Um, then, yeah, here's what I'm a little bit interested in because six of pentacles i think that they could be coming back in with an offer i don't know <laughs> so here's what i'm going to tell you okay because of the deep entanglement between you and this person right whoever this person is for you and you guys know i've talked about specifically with you guys you've been dealing with possibly a gemini i can see that there that there's been this intense entanglement between you and another person and it really went to the core of your mother wounds your father wounds maybe even some sexual shame there was a lot of patterns that you've been playing out in a specific relationship that i know that you guys have been entangled with and so for some of you especially there could have been this deep hope of this person really waking up you know what was it going to take to really get this person to wake up and not to say it was just this person i think you had to go through your own awakening as well because i can see that with the two of cups and the lovers there was an awakening on both sides so I'm not just saying there was only one person that needed to wake up. I think both people needed to, to wake up to ego, to wake up to the shadow, okay? So that's why I feel like, yeah, there's this heavy energy right here with the dark knight of the soul and the nine of wands. I feel as though this person could be getting to a point of surrender, of, you know, kind of breaking down. And that's why, especially with that nine of wands, that could be the ego or kind of the pride or you know, not really wanting to give in. And that's why if this person is coming back into you, Cancer, which I see is highly possible, not only with all the retrogrades, but you know, just everything going on in the energy, they're very slow about it. 
because there could be a lot of having to swallow their pride, okay? I can see that with the lover's card. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Your, your advice, your energy, continue to focus on yourself because this is where I see, look how beautiful that is. She's thriving. You're like continuing to do your own thing. You're like totally tapped in. The universe is totally supporting you. That's why I love that card. It's like you're the center of this planetary, you know, movement and revolution. And so you're your third eye. I want to say cancer. If this is especially you, you're kind of in this very highly intuitive place of waking up, receiving all of these intuitions and insights about certain things. Maybe even for some of you, you're having a lot of really deep dreams about someone or something or just events that are happening. Some of you guys could be having a heighten of a heightening of your psychic abilities with that Queen of Cups coming out twice. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised at all. I can see the emotions here, but look at, this is what I've been paying attention to quite a bit in the cards and how they come out. There's, with this relationship, it tends to always be that one person is turned away from the other. It's, that's like almost this crazy magnetism between the two of you. It's like, when one person turns away, then there's the interest here. And then it switches around. It's almost like it never comes to this place where you two are just looking right at each other. It's aligned. You're both ready to make an offer to one another. And that's what I feel is so fascinating. This is what's underneath. I think this is underneath, but just because of all of the stuff that's on the surface with ego and all of that, this is what usually plays out. Okay, that's the, the surface, the shallow part of the relationship. But I can see the depth. Absolutely, I can see the connection here. And you two could be almost identical in energies. Who even knows? Now, if you're dealing with a shadow, which I don't see here, Cancer. So I don't know who this person is. I don't see the devil card, so thank goodness. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know for sure if this is like you could be dealing with someone that was mirroring you, you know, took on everything about you. I don't know how much of this mirroring was really genuine. I do know for sure that the mirroring was a lot of unhealed stuff with that heavy dark night of the soul energy, okay? So I do see that for sure. Because if, when you got the judgment, yeah, there's a waking up because if you're going through a rebirth here, this is not pretty. This is not easy energy, okay? This is very intense, so my heart goes out to you. I understand how it is completely, but Cancer, we're gonna dive into the details of it because to be honest, I'm unbelievably curious what's gonna come out on the other side. So if you guys wanna join me over in the extended, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.